Hi guys, welcome back to session 4-5 Learn Excel from Karpakam. In this video, I am going to show you how to use scenario analysis for the prediction model. Basically, when we talk about a scenario analysis, scenario is a set of values which Excel saves and substitutes it automatically. You can generate as many number of scenarios as you want. In the previous video, we have completed scenario analysis with a single criteria. This video focuses on scenario analysis for multiple criteria. When I talk about multiple criteria, we have got product A, product B and product C. In the previous video, you can see it was a scenario analysis for movie budgeting. But whereas in this video, we will see how to do a scenario analysis for three products. Let's get started. So we have best case scenario, realistic and the worst case. Now we have to generate this for all the three products. Even before starting scenario analysis, there are certain basic areas which we will complete so that we don't have to come back again. First, let's start defining the cell range. This is going to be early labor cost. Let's define it. When I click on this, it's going to show us early labor cost. Let's create it for the second one also. Material cost we have created. And apart from this, let all the cells be a total profit per product. This is what we want to do. So let me go here and create this as well. So for the three cells we have created, another name range is total profit per product we have created. Now what is that exactly I want to do here is, I have got the labor cost on an hourly basis, then I have got material cost here. Now I want to create what is the total profit that we are going to derive. It's going to be really simple. When we want to find out what is the cost to produce equal to labor cost into hours per unit plus material cost into material per unit. When I hit enter, we have got what is going to be the total cost here. Just drag it here and you will get for the rest of the product. Now that hours per unit, material per unit and the sales price are independent. Again, the unit profit is dependent on the sales price minus the cost to produce. So equal to this particular cell minus cost to produce. Hit enter, you have got this value also. The shader one denotes that we have to calculate. So how many number of units we are going to produce? Let's say product A, we are going to produce 12 unit. Product B, we are going to produce 15 and product C, we are going to produce, let's say 18 unit. Now we have to derive total profit per unit. So equal to unit profit into units produced is going to be our total profit. So you can see 38,400 is the profit what we have derived here. Just drag it down and you will be able to see the profits totally. So what is that I'm going to do here? We are going to generate the scenario when the hourly labor cost and the material cost changes. What happens to the profit? This is what we are interested to find out. So let's go to data. What if analysis scenario manager? Let's start making the scenario. First case scenario is going to be the in this scenario, what is that we exactly want to change? So this already we have named it comma material cost. Click OK. So what is going to be the cost? Already it's 120. Now let's change it to we have set in the best case scenario. So let's take best case is going to be 100 per hour and material cost is going to be let's say 650. This is the best case scenario. Click on OK, you have got it. Again, let's go on to, now let's see how this best case scenario is going to be. So we have seen the profit has changed here. Add realistic scenario. Realistic scenario or most likely scenario. What is that we want to change here? Click on this one and material cost, click OK. Again, it gives you early labor cost and material cost. Change this now here. So our early labor cost is going to be realistic is going to be 175 rupee per hour and material cost is going to be 800 rupee per hour. Click OK. Now when I just click on this and click on show automatically the value changes 16,500. The same when I go and double click at the best case scenario you can see the value changes here. Let's add the last case scenario which is a worst case scenario. After defining the scenario name, let's go back. This is what we already wanted to change. Click OK and it gives you. So worst case scenario, the hourly labor cost is going to go, let's say 250 rupee because 
the festival season is coming in the material cost is also expected to go up to 800 rupee let's see what is the difference it's going to make here when i just click on show you can see the profit has come dropped to 3000 rupee for product a product b 52500 and product c 58500 now that you may be asking now that we have gotten what is the use of using a scenario now that we have completed all these areas let's create a scenario click on the summary what is that we want already we have selected the three product a product b product c profit click on scenario summary and click ok we have got the scenario summary when you look into it you have got profit a profit b and profit c it's nothing but product a product b and product c these are the scenario so when you look at it current value where is the best profit we get it for the product c and when the prices go up again for the product c prices most likely scenario realistic again it's for the product c and worst case scenario also it's for the product c but whenever we make any changes in terms of the number of units produced it's going to be a different one i hope you have enjoyed the video thanks for joining stay tuned for more such videos good day